Sometimes a situation that we encounter, either in real life or as a story, doesn't necessarily lend itself really easily to writing down an equation, but it does lend itself very nicely to creating a table relating the two variables. Here's an example. Suppose a pizza chain has a promotion in which they charge $12 for the first pizza and $5 for each additional pizza. What are our two variables here? Well, the first variable is how many pizzas we buy, and the second variable is how much money we have to pay. And I'll be specific and say that we're going to measure the money in dollars. Now, looking at this story, I think that the normal way to understand it is that we choose how many pizzas to buy and observe how much it costs. That means that the number of pizzas will be our independent variable and the amount of money we pay will be our dependent variable. This relationship is most easily shown in a table. Why? Well, in the story, it tells us that if we buy one pizza, we pay $12. And then it says we pay $5 for each additional pizza. So if we buy a second pizza, we'll add $5 to what we paid before. We pay $17. If we buy a third pizza, we add another five. Now we're up to paying $22. Fourth pizza, we add another five. We're up to paying $27. Uh, fifth pizza, another five. We're up to paying $32, and so on. Notice we didn't need any algebra to create that table. The story lends itself more easily to creating a table than to writing an equation. Here's another example. Suppose a company plans to ship its goods by truck. They estimate it'll cost $35,000 just to get the trucks plus an extra thousand for every three tons of goods they ship. The first thing we want to do is figure out what are the two things that are varying here. Right, I think maybe we have G tons of goods shipped and maybe we'll say C is the cost. Uh, the most logical thing to do here I think is to choose how many tons of goods we'll ship, and then observe the resulting cost. Therefore, the tons of goods shipped will be independent, and the cost will be dependent. Again, this lends itself well to making a table. Oh, rather than fill in a whole bunch of zeros, I'm going to say cost in thousands of dollars. So even if they don't ship any goods, it costs them $35,000 just to get the trucks. Then for every three tons of goods they ship, it costs them an extra $1,000. So if they ship another three tons, it costs them an extra $1,000. Each time we add 3 to the number of tons of goods, we add 1 to the cost. We could continue this pattern as long as we liked. Now, obviously, in this story, if we wanted to find out how much it would cost them to ship, say, 27,000 tons of goods, we probably wouldn't want to use this continuing the table method. In this
this problem, we could probably just continue the table on for as many pizzas as we want to buy. In this problem, however, we might want to have a more sophisticated way of getting to fairly large values of g. And that somewhat more sophisticated way is what we're going to see in the coming videos.